Lawn bowling reek. This makes a lot of sense. Because, you know, when you've got, like, all the old people just, like, throwing balls down, you don't want to be down there, you know, leaning down, picking up balls with your hands, getting in there, you know? You've got the risk of being hit in the shins at moderate speeds with a big heavy ball. This just makes things easy. Mind you, though, it is just reminding me of, I think it's Family Guy, where one of them's just wearing, like, a big mattress on their back, picking up golf balls at a driving range. It's... <laughs> It's, uh, there's got to be a better way. Hello and welcome to Calbus. My name is Zen and today we're taking a brand new look at a brand new subreddit. R slash specialized tools. It's a subreddit to post tools which are created for like maybe one or two very precise uses. Let's look at some rather interesting things, shall we? Let's jump in. This training device to help football players aim their kicks. Oh, is this just like a board where you... Oh, that's sick. Oh, that's actually so cool! It's also impressive that they have such good control over balls. There's a lot of ball talk in this episode already. Oh, got it in. Is this guy gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Yes! That's just impressive in so many ways. Really cool. This corner folding device. Alright, it looks like it's just a little bit of... Just folding it down and... Oh. Oh, that's kind of... That's, actually, hold on. No, that's just satisfying. That's just satisfying. There's no audio to this, but it's just... Mm, flat. <laughs> that's actually... Okay, I like that. I like that. Again, very specific. Like, where else would you use this? Nowhere. I don't know. It could be used as a bottle opener, maybe. Actually, I think a lot of things could just be used as a bottle opener, so that's a moot point. A whole set of non-sparking beryllium copper wrenches for working with hydrogen. Anyone want to guess the cost? A lot. I'm assuming a lot, considering beryllium copper. <laughs> so apparently OP didn't even mention how much they cost. That sucks. That really sucks. Someone did a little bit of digging and... So it seems someone found them for like two and a half grand USD uh, and then found another one selling it for like 600 euro. But when you're dealing with like, you know, very dangerous environments where you don't want conductivity or, you know, sparking, I would pay for the higher rate. You know, I would just I would just make sure I'm getting what I'm paying for, you know. <laughs> Ooh. They do look very shiny, though. Speaking of shiny, you know what would make things even shinier around here? That's right. Clicking that subscribe button. Do you want to be extra shiny? Click that subscribe button, maybe hit the bell, make sure notifications are on. <laughs> Master of Segways, let's jump back in, shall we? Remote controlled special excavator to demolish cooling towers of nuclear power plants. That is extremely specific. Like, that is a very niche bit of machinery there. <laughs> If you could just, like, make a little mesh over it to make it look like a little hamster just nibbling away at the concrete, that'd make it look so much better, I'd say. This dolly can only lift those buckets and nothing else. Just just put the little bit at the bottom so you can just use it as a general kind of dolly. What? <laughs> How? Like, is your whole thing based around those specific buckets? Like, that's such a niche thing. It's so <laughs> niche and unnecessary. Oh, just use a normal dolly? <laughs> How much did you pay for this? Because I feel like you got ripped off. Tool for measuring crab size. It's a crab gauge from Pookie. Uh, legal size for Alaska, California, Oregon, Washington, and... Ca oh, it's actually for crabs. I thought it was like a weird tool name or like a little... F I didn't... Actual crabs? <laughs> I was like, what the hell is a crab? It's the actual crab. Okay. I kind of like this. Like, you could do a proper Cinderella story with crab. Crabarella. Oh, I, I saw a crab at the ball last night, but I didn't catch their name and I can't find them. Now I must walk around the land measuring the crabs to find my Crabarella. Oh. <laughs> Disney hit me up, I've got an idea for- actually, screw Disney, DreamWorks, I got his film for you. Penetrating fire truck. Scania P360 with a penetrating scorpion stinger that can penetrate a building to deliver water directly into a fire without putting firefighters in danger. That is smart. I, I get- like, my, my first instinct is just like, yeah, you're gonna be punching holes into people's houses when they're on fire. I think a hole in the wall is the least of the worries. <laughs> No, this is clever. If it helps save lives all around, this is smart. This is great. Equipment to test the durability of packaging materials. Uh, so it's just stretching and twisting. 
it's just stretching and twisting. Excellent! Better make sure that my packaging on my Twix is very secure. Don't want anyone touching it other than me. Automatic aeration machine for aerating a football field. That just looks dangerous. Straight up, if someone gets ran over or hit with that, they're done. They, 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 they've... <laughs> They're going to be the next Pope because they're going to be very holy. Oh, that's kind of terrifying. I also don't know why are they aerating a football field. I, I, it's probably a necessary thing, but I don't know why. So it's mainly just to help with the soil quality, grass rooting, and also just drainage. Okay, I have learned today that's really neat. Hook used to pull away personnel being electrocuted without electrocuting the rescuer. Protects from up to 45 kV and has a length of 1.75 meters. That's just straight up a hook. Like, I'm pretty sure I've seen Bugs Bunny use this on Daffy Duck at some point. How often does this happen? Like, I understand the need for it, but at the same point, how often does this happen? This is just making me think, like, why, why, why didn't Alan Grant have this? Like, why didn't Jurassic Park have one of these back in the day? That's a safety hazard. That's an OSHA violation on top of all the other ones in the park that was not for... <laughs> Dinosaurs going on a rampage. That's just... That's the big one, though. They didn't have this. Integrating sphere. Big hollow white ball you put a lamp into to measure its luminance. That looks like some future crap. I've got some friends who have been talking about how they've been going to sensory deprivation tanks, and this is what I just imagine it as. Get in the sphere. It's time for you to lose your senses. Don't go mad now. I really want to try one. <laughs> I do genuinely want to try one of those tanks. Hook knife for conveyor belt splicing. Okay. I sure you've got that sitting there. Why have you got that just sitting there at home? Why? Do I think I'm more worried about why you have it just sitting there it does look old maybe it's just a relic from like an old job kind of thing but conveyor belt splicing oh apparently it's just like a tool they use on job so they actually own it for themselves so they take it on job when they wherever they go and it's just for like cutting up conveyor belts so they can like realign it like reline it and all that and install new rubber okay kind of neat uh, i thought you were a psychopath to begin with not anymore only partially this mechanical meat cutting machine my family owns hand cranked very shiny that looks cool as hell hey <laughs> you can see how it operates everything I, like you see the ones in like supermarkets and delis and whatnot and they're all like hyper industrial mechanicalized mechanicalized yeah that's that's the term i'm gonna go with this just looks this looks neat so i do like how he has to like slide away each individual small thin slice each time doesn't want to let it just pile up doesn't want to, he doesn't want to have a meat pile octopus like tool to grip and remove the glass from a wristwatch that is it looks like it's partially a torture device but i kind of understand i understand why it looks cool it looks like an accessory that you kind of see on like a cyberpunk thing and yeah, that's actually a hyper specific. Wait, what if the wristwatch is like a different size? I assume like it, it can adjust. It can adjust from like, yeah, okay. Just running through the hypotheticals in my own head. Uh, don't worry about that. <laughs> Smart lift, the only way to move big glass. Yeah, this way we stop having the cartoon moments of people carrying glass across the road and someone running into it by accident, and the quick zoom-ins on the glass carrier's faces as they look on in horror as the person crashes through it. It's a. Uh, it's happened way too many times, and it needs to stop. And this is the way. Automated styrofoam cutter. Okay, so this is kind of cool. So I I can't remember the exact name for what this is uh, what it's called, but this is essentially a three D printer and a hot wire being implemented to make something out of styrofoam. In between the two things on either side is like a small like thin metal wire, which is super heated it's like really really hot and that's cutting through the styrofoam to be able to do this and it's so cool it's so cool i've never seen it being applied to a 3d situation like this with like the turntable it does make me concerned how it starts to wobble off uh, <laughs> and like how does it get an accurate cut but again i guess it only matters because like the thing in the middle that it's cut is carving away to is all that matters because that's going to be solid that's going to be the most rigid part of the structure so this is neat. This is really cool. Cryogenic DWAR to store human cells, slime slash samples at minus 320 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 195.79 degrees Celsius. Store human cells. Is this what's happening at the bank? Oh, 
where does that pipe connect to? Don't want to think about that. <laughs> and on that really weird note, that's all the time we have for today on Calvus. If you like the video, consider dropping a like or maybe even subscribing. Or hey, maybe even sharing with a friend and showing them some very specialized tools. Don't call them one. That's rude. If you want to see some more r slash specialized tools, then you can't because this is the first one. If you want to see more, let us know down in the comments below. That's the only way we know if you're interested in this. Otherwise, you'll be seeing another video on screen in just a couple of seconds. But on that note, I have been your host, Zen. I hope to see you in the very next Cowboys video. Have a great rest of your day.